love is something that you do. We faced three straight days of rain. Last night it rained, but we said, you know what? We're gonna fight the mud. We're gonna make it today. But Apostle Paul said, I must go to the regions beyond, and we're actually going into the regions beyond. So come along with the adventure, because it's gonna be an adventure, <laughs> believe me. This is the muddiest place in my whole life I have ever been. This is probably the first place where I thought we would never make it through the mud. We came here through the mud and the muck and really risking our lives today to come here. We're willing to come here because we know that God has sent us here. No, uh oh, he's sliding. Wow, did you see that? Joker's stuck. Joker is stuck in the uh, pickup. It's down, it's down, that's what it is. It's Bobby and Sherry have this fervor to take the gospel with medical clinics to the farthest regions beyond. These are people who never have opportunity to see a doctor. How far would Jesus go to save a life? I see the church. We're going to have a clinic today, guys. Yeah. We're on the way in and we're facing some mud, but it's not really the bad part yet. Keep going. Honey, that's what I'm doing. Woo! Man, that was a ride. Here goes chicken. Hey guys. Well, we made it. We made it, man. We made it. Very good adventure. As the vehicles drove up and were struggling through the mud and the water, Alongside the road, there's a parade almost of people, and they're just clapping their hands and clapping their hands. Because of the rain, they didn't even know if the clinic would be here today. And we made it. We made it. You know, it takes a, a lot of, of guts, a lot of persistence, to be able to try to come to a village like this, to get through all this mud. I've slipped, I've got mud all over me, and a lot of us do, and probably all my team members. But you know what? We don't care about it. We're willing to come here because we know that God has sent us here. We don't care what we have to do to get here. I just want you to look in the back. Look at the people, how they're cutting down branches. Look, they're sweeping their little yards. They want us to come to this mobile clinic. We never asked them to do that, but they're so glad to have this mobile clinic here. Now people are gonna be coming, oh my gosh, people are gonna be coming from all over. Kaylee, I'm so sorry. Oh. Kaylee, are you okay? <laughs> Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee, we got to get you cleaned up. Okay, okay. thank you so much. Help us, help us go to the regions beyond. Merci. Next, escape. This is why we always ask your help to help us do these mobile clinics so we can help these children because this poor little child has absolutely no help whatsoever. Then all that will come off because it'll be moist through the night. You see what I mean? It's okay. I mean, I think about it, if that little boy was one of my loved ones, like. It just, it, I can, I, just looking at him now, it just hurts so much to see him like that. And I couldn't imagine if that was my son or my brother or my child. Like, it's just, I can't imagine how his family must feel and how, how they're, they must be so grateful that we're here because they, he can finally get the help that he needs. This is Edna, Shalanda, Jean Louis, Kilanchi. Three and a half years old. After we've closed the clinic down, the father has just walked up the mountain with this baby. And she's had a bad fever for 15 days, but she's also got an ear infection. She's also severely chest infection. Chest infection. And I see pus coming out of her ear too. Glenda, so what do you see so far? I see this little baby has got a nasty perforated eardrum. She's got swelling over her sinus on her face. She's got um, the insides of her nose is all, um, it, it's bloody, but it's also excoriated and swollen. 
and inflamed. She's got blistered all over her mouth and her, her mouth is so dry it's hard for her to open it. She's got a significant heart murmur and the beat has become irregular. Her liver's enlarged uh, just from a, a very gentle feel. She's very wet, she's passing urine as well and she's older than that and so my worry would be she's also got a urine infection as well. If I had not been here today uh, she would die and she's she's still very close to it right now but yeah. so that means that we have to get her help immediately. So we just ask you right now if you can help us in any way with our clinics with medical uh, needs with medicine if you want to give an offering help with any way emergency care whatever please do so. But more than that, we need prayer. We need miracles every day. We do. We do. Can I go ahead and give her water? She drank coffee. She doesn't hardly eat anything. Thank God we were here today. Like, if she came into my clinic, I'd evac her. I'd be calling a plane. Oh, yeah. And I've got nurses. I've got everything I need. And I would still be sending her. She needs IV antibiotics for this yeah. thing and for her ear. Mr. Oxus, it is a grave on pill. Really, oh. moto punuka hoili no bito too sweet. Too sweet, moto. Thank you for this little girl. Thank you, Lord, that you are Alpha Romeo, the one who wants to use this power. Spare her life, God. Spare her life, God. Bless this heart. Very used to it. Very used to it. Okay. 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 There are literally thousands of malnourished babies and starving children who live in Haiti. Babies and children who, if not helped, will join the hundreds who are dying daily. Lack of food, clean water, and medical care mean children under the age of five are at the highest risk. Love a Child medical teams are reaching out to these children who have nothing and are giving them hope, hope to survive, hope to live, and hope to have a better life. Love a Child clinics provide assistance to these impoverished children who have never seen a doctor or received medical care. We need your help now. $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the medical clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children. And $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also provide a family with a complete package of medicine for $20. Will you hear the cry of the poor now and allow your heart to be touched? Remember, $50 sponsors 50 children to visit the clinic. $100 sponsors 100 children, and $1,000 provides a clinic for an entire village. You may also supply a complete family pack of medication that these poor families can take home for only $20. Please call the number on your screen now, or write today and say, I want to help the hurting children of Haiti. If believers don't show the love yeah, of Jesus, as Love a Child does, okay. by doing medical clinics, by feeding the hungry, okay. by clothing the naked, literally, the light of Jesus Christ will never shine. When you make a promise to the people in a foreign country, and you say you're gonna do something, you've got to try to keep your word, because a lot of people, they just make a promise. They do that in the States too. You make a promise and then you break it. Then when you break it, people are discouraged and they don't believe in the gospel or anything that you're doing for the Lord. But when you try to keep your word, you keep your word to them, then they have confidence and they really believe it, that you really love God and you really love them. In our church, we sing this song. I believe in God the Father. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Holy Spirit and He's given us new life. There's a compelling in the heart to serve our other brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. See what you can do to bring the light of Jesus Christ to people who have never heard the gospel. Today, this very day, before the sun goes down, there will be rejoicing in heaven. There will be rejoicing in heaven 
because people who have never heard or never seen today will come to know Jesus. That's what it's all about. May God bless you. I want to give you a word for the mission field. We're here in Paypari in the middle of nowhere on top of a mountain. There's no electricity out here. There's no stores out here. There's no nothing out here. There's no jobs out here. You can grow very little out here. The soil's rocky. They try to grow some beans. They can grow some beans, but you can't make that your diet every day. You still have malnutrition. But the people are very sweet. I want to give you a scripture that's on my heart. I've given you before, but it's burning within my heart today. It's the most powerful scripture because everywhere, all these people are poor. Not only here, but the poor of the world. Remember the poor of the world and God will remember you and God will bless you. When you bless somebody else, God will bless you. These scriptures are found in Psalms 41, verse one through three. The seven promises, I call them the seven supernatural promises of God. I don't have time to explain each one, but I'm just gonna read you the scriptures. When we do these things, God will supernaturally bless you. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. Promise number one, the Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. Ever been in trouble? God will get you out. Number two, the Lord will preserve him. Number three, and keep him alive. Looks like you may die today, but God will keep you alive. His hands upon you. When you bless the poor, God will help keep you alive. I should have been dead twice here in Haiti. I know when that tractor ran me over, that big bush hog ran me over, I should have been killed. When I fell down the mountain, I should have been killed. But God said, when you consider and bless the poor, God said, I will keep you alive. And I believe that's why I'm alive right now. The next promise, he shall be blessed upon the earth. God will bless you. And that will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. We all have enemies. If you're doing anything for God, they hate you. People are jealous of you. They despise you. They talk about you behind your back. But you know what? God will keep you from the will of your enemies. And he will, be a matter of fact, he says, I will deliver you. The Bible says, the sixth promise, the Lord will strengthen you, or the Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing. That means you need to be old and feeble, you don't know, you know, the devil told me a long time ago, well, one day you're going to be old, you won't even know your name. Well, that devil's a liar. But God said, I will strengthen you. I will be with you. The last promise, the seventh promise, God said, thou will make all of his bed in his sickness. God is saying, when you are sick, I will get you out of your bed. Now, that's God's word. That's seven promises of Psalms 41, verse 1, 2, and 3 from the King James Version. But these are, this is God's word. Seven supernatural promises. The people, the Bible says, blessed is he that considers the poor. I want to, I want to just let this burn within you, you. God, get a burden to help the poor and to bless the poor and God will bless you. You don't know the joy of living until you know the joy of helping the poor. Some people just think about me, 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 me. The me, this is the me generation. This is the me, me, me. What is God gonna do for me? It's not about me, it's about someone else. But when you bless somebody else, God will bless you. That is God's formula. That is God's law and it works. Study the day, Psalms 41, verse 1, 2, and 3. Seven supernatural promises from the Word of God. God bless you. From Pei Peri, Haiti, in the middle of nowhere, where I hear blessing the poor. 
To learn more about these stories and how you can help change the lives of these poor Haitian children, please visit our website at www.loveachild.com and see what God would have you to do. Please get involved today with one or more of our many outreaches. You will have a once-in-a-lifetime experience by sponsoring a child or attending a remote trip to Haiti in the regions beyond. By going to loveachild.com, you will have a secure way to donate and leave a legacy of hope and compassion for generations to come. Remember, Jesus said, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, you have done it unto me. For those partners, uh, directly to you, thank you for showing Christ's love um, to people that you may not even know or meet. Please go to loveachild.com now to make a donation and change a life today and forever. On behalf of the poor children in the country of Haiti, thank you and may God richly bless you. You know, having these mobile medical clinics is Sherry's heart. And she's been doing these mobile clinics for many years. I mean, many years. We've lived in Haiti 26 years, and she's had them before we even moved to Haiti. She's had a mobile clinics in Haiti in the middle of nowhere. There are no doctors, no nurses, very, very, very little help. Where if you just had an aspirin, one aspirin will just change their life because their body's not used to it, and it just, it just it's so potent. But, Right now, Cherry is, and Evie is cleaning a man's foot. He has stepped on something and cut his foot bad. And, um, and he stuffed it full of tobacco. Yeah. They got antiseptic water in here and they clean the foot out and helping him. Love is something you do. Before Sherry comes, I just want to say you can help and we need your help desperately. We cannot have this clinic without you. Now, someone sponsored this clinic for a thousand dollars you see today. That thousand dollars will change people's lives today, probably save some lives. It may have saved his foot. But here's how you can help. Fifty dollars will sponsor fifty people, fifty children to come for help or their parents. A gift of a hundred dollars will sponsor a hundred children and then for a gift of a thousand dollars you can sponsor an entire clinic just like you do. They usually last three days. This one won't because we've had severe rain problems. Couldn't get out here yesterday. But for $1,000 to sponsor what all you see here. And it takes three months of work to prepare one mobile clinic. And then for a gift of $20, we give out, you know, we give out medicines that everybody comes to here. We give a lot of medicines to take home according to what's, what's wrong with them. But then those we don't see the day, that we can't get to at the end of the day. There may be two or 300 people, we don't know. There's a, it's called a family pack. You can sponsor a family pack for $20. In here, this is worth way more than $20. But some we have donated and some we buy. That's how it works. In here, we have vitamins for women, vitamins for children. We have soap, we have bandages, we have a, a headache Tylenol. We have uh, medicines for scabies. We have cough medicine. We have cold medicine. All, we have a toothbrush in here, toothpaste in here, all kind of medicines in here. And every bottle, everything is explained individually. Then we give the whole family pack to the family. that you can sponsor for $20. You may want to sponsor one pack or five packs or whatever God lays upon your heart. And you may sponsor as many as children or people as a dollar person to come here as you want. Please call the number that's on your screen. It's toll free or write the mailing address that you'll see on this program. We're still making pictures of, of the clinics or you may give online. You may want to give to Bobby and Sherry. I'm going to give monthly online. Easy giving, automatic deduction on my credit card. Just tell the staff that when you call, and they would do automatic deduction. Sherry, I'm sorry you know, it took us so long. Oh, my. This is poor you Mr. cleaned Oscar. that so good. Yeah, wow. well, we're still cleaning it. I'm going to have a doctor come over and look at it. This is Arthur, right, Sherry? Oscar. O Oscar. 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 And three days ago, he cut it really I bad. It. I mean, really bad. And so everything's filthy here. And then he stuffed it with tobacco tobacco to fill up the hole. Can you imagine? He didn't even have a Band-Aid. 
Listen, Not he didn't even have a Band-Aid. He didn't even have an aspirin. He didn't even have anything to wrap this up. Not even a clean sheet. You know, he's, he's, he's over here in his bare feet. He has nothing. He's not a Tylenol, not a Tylenol, nothing for pain. I mean, and, and we haven't even started the day yet. So whatever God lays upon your heart, uh, you know, please help us today. If your gift is large or small or widow's might, the numbers are on the screen. We came here through the mud and the muck and really risking our lives today to come here. We just ask you to stand by us and help us and give because really you are the Good Samaritan. We're just, we're just doing what happens on this side, but without you making it happen. You're the person who puts the person in the inn and pays for them and says, take care of it and I'll be back. That's what you do from your house, from wherever you are right now. So please continue to help us. God bless you from Haiti. Thank God. you. Thank you. God bless you. The number's on the screen. You can call toll free right now and give the amount. God lays upon your heart and maybe the riddles might. Every penny counts. But $50 will help bring 50 children here or their parents. Or $100 will help bring 100 children. I get the $1,000 will sponsor an entire clinic, usually for three days. Or get the $20 will sponsor a family pack for the entire family of all type of medicine, the cold, we'll be fever, yes. everything. We'll be giving them out today. Absolutely. Someone sponsored this family pack. Yes. That's why I'm holding it. Look what they've done. Yes. Uh, Arthur, we we'll remove mine. We we'll remove and peel. Who we'll remember Jesse? Who we'll remember Jesse? Who we'll remember, we'll remember Jesse and peel? Yeah, he goes to church. Yeah, he says he, he goes to the church we built down there, outside the village. He, he loves Jesus. Thank you in advance. Love is something you do. Let God use you. God, God bless, bless you. you. Please you. call now. Bobby and I live here in the country of Haiti. We get up every morning at four o'clock or 3.30. We read the Bible and we do a devotional. And we've just written a book called A 90 Day Walk with God faith, hope, and love. And as you read this book and you pray every morning, doesn't matter what time it is, you'll be praying with us. You'll be joining us in prayer because these devotionals are from the same Word of God that you and I both read. So be sure to request this book. It's called Faith, Hope, and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God. Be sure to request it today. Thank you for your gift. God bless you. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new devotional book, Faith, Hope, and Love, A 90-Day Walk with God, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address, or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember, to receive your free copy of Bobby and Cherry's new book, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Boy came into clinic today and mom says that he has abdominal pain and his feet are swollen. And the thing that struck me first when I saw him is he's three years old and he's about the size of a one-year-old baby. And so I'm look, looking at him and doing an exam and yes, his feet are swollen. When I look at, at his eyes, they're very, very pale. He's obviously extremely malnourished, but then I listen to his heart and he has a loud heart murmur. And I'm pretty sure he has a, a opening between the bottom chambers of his heart called a ventricular septal defect. And this is not something that he will survive with for much longer um, if he doesn't get treatment for it because it's obviously affected him nutritionally. He's not growing well. Um, right now, even his breathing, when you look at him breathe, he holds his breath. It's because he's got too much blood flow going through his lungs. What will happen over time is um, he'll get, he'll go from having enough oxygen to not having enough oxygen. And once that happens, even, even fixing his heart isn't gonna help him. It might actually make things worse. So he could live to be seven or eight years old, but I don't think he's gonna live for a long time with this type of defect unless it gets repaired. You wanna listen? Okay. Yeah.
I wouldn't let him come back up to the mountain. I would send him to a hospital today. So we're going to try and get him down to Love a Child's um, malnutrition clinic. And then hopefully from there, they can refer him to a hospital in Port-au-Prince that can um, do an echocardiogram and um, get him the heart surgery that he needs. One dollar. One dollar sponsors one child to come to the clinic. Just one dollar to come to the clinic. You know, so it's such a cheap price. You know, it can sponsor, you know, 50 children to come for $50 or 100 children to come for $100. But just think, just for one dollar to sponsor a baby like this, you could save his life to come to the clinic. Think about it. And you can save so many more, too. Thank you. After 25 years, you think I've been used to this, but I can't stand it. All right, baby. I know it. His condition's grab. He is, uh, the doctors told us to scrub and clean his ears really good and take all the impetigo off of it. But he's got a, this infection is so bad, it's inside his jaw. It's taking two or three people to hold him down. His mom is crying at the same time. But the doctor said, if he did not come here today, he'd be dead. He'd die. This is why we're asking you to help us today. If you can sponsor, you know, 50 children to come to the clinic, 100 children to come to the clinic, please help. Or there'll be a number on your screen. If you can sponsor a mobile clinic, oh my God, we need help. Please, $1,000 will help us to sponsor a mobile clinic, you know, in an area like this is so far away from no place. And you can see right now how important it is. You can see that you giving, it can make life or death through your giving. Please do something. You can't do everything. Do something. If you can't give 50 or 20, give 10. Give something. Give the widow's might. But please don't just sit there and not do anything. You know, I read a scripture this morning where it says, if you see your brother in need, don't shut up your bowels of compassion and go away and say, I'll help you another day. No, go to the phone right now. Go to the internet right now. Put the check in the mail right now. Right now is the time when we need to help these children. Thank you and God bless you.